So you already know how to rotate an object in Blender, but in this tutorial, we will discuss how to rotate an object around some other object or around a group of several objects. And we'll learn three different methods that can be used in various scenarios. In the first method, let's say we want to rotate this aeroplane around this cube. So we'll first assign this cube as a parent for our aeroplane. So select this plane, then press shift and select this cube so that the cube is highlighted in yellow color. Now press Ctrl P to bring this menu and select Object Keep Transformation. If we now grab and rotate this cube, the aeroplane will also rotate along with the cube due to the parent-child relationship. This method is useful when you want to rotate an object during an animation because you can keyframe this and animate the rotation. Once the purpose is over, you may want to remove the parent-child relation, so select this plane again and press Alt P. Then from this menu, we'll select Clear and Keep Transformation. The aeroplane will retain its modified location with the rotation around the cube. But if we are in the design mode, we can use the second method. Like before, we want to rotate this aeroplane around the cube without parenting, so select both the objects and select this at the end so that the cube is highlighted in yellow, which means it is the active selection. Now pull down this menu and change the pivot point to active element. Now if we rotate the plane, it will rotate around the cube. But you'll notice that the cube is also affected by this rotation. If you don't want that, you can press the control key and remove the cube from our selection. The cube is still the active object, but it will no longer get affected by the rotation. Let's try it out once. We can see that only the plane is rotating around the cube. The cube itself is not rotating here. Now let's say we have multiple such objects and we want to rotate this aeroplane around all these objects in a symmetrical fashion. So the third method is suitable for this case, and we need to unhide the 3D cursor because we'll need it for this method. We'll first move this cursor to the center location of all these objects. So we have to select them together, and then from the object menu, under Snap, we have to select Cursor to Selected. The 3D cursor will now move to the central location, and we need to also change the pivot point to 3D cursor. Now if we rotate the plane, it will rotate symmetrically around the center point of all these objects, instead of any particular object as we saw earlier. And then, if we want to rather rotate these objects along the aeroplane, we can again use the first method, with active element pivot type. We have to select these objects together, then add the aeroplane into the selection at the end, so that it becomes the active selection, and then we need to remove it from the selection, but the plane still remains as the active object. Now if we rotate these objects, they will rotate around the aeroplane, which now works as the pivot point. And there is a bonus tip, if you want to rotate such objects together, around their center points, first select them together like this, and change the pivot type to individual origins, from here. Now we can rotate them together, and they will rotate individually, around their own origins. So in this quick tutorial, we have covered various different scenarios where we need to rotate some objects. And once you're done with the rotation, don't forget to change the pivot type to median point, which is the default value, and this is important because the pivot type affects all transformations. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.